After the schooner incident, I decided there was only one thing for it. I had Sunshine take Boomer to Lucky's yard with strict instructions that he was never to be used as a tug ever again, no matter what. It was therefore a surprise to Ten Cents and Sunshine when a few weeks later I ordered them to pick up Boomer and take him up river. Why wouldn't you tell us why? Uh, we'll find out when we get there. I've been dreading what's going to happen to him. Yeah, I don't like the sound of up river. There's a ship's graveyard there, full of rusting hulks. You know that. Ten Cents and Sunshine were expecting the worst. I had said that Boomer was never to be used as a tug again, and that's exactly how it was. When they arrived at the yard, Boomer the tug was nowhere to be seen. Moored by the pier was a strange-looking floating house. Top of the morning, Ten Cents. Morning, Sunshine. Is that really you, Boomer? Indeed it is. Well, a houseboat. Well, don't you feel so silly? Not one bit. Not at all. It's what I always wanted to be. Now, hurry up, you two. I want to get upriver to my new mooring. When they found it, it was a tree-lined bank, and it was clearly marked, Done Tugging. My, my. Home sweet home at last. Oh, you like it here. Lots of nice trees to keep you cool in the summer. It's all I ever wanted. Thank you both. I'm sorry if I got you into trouble. Nah, that's all right. Well, let's hope the jinx left you. It's what it did to others that worried me the most. Well, time to go. Yeah, we'll come to visit you sometime, eh? Thanks. Thanks, both of you. Thanks for everything. <coughs> oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, the jinx! <laughs> no, it's gone. It's over. That proves it. If I was still jinxed, the tree would have crashed down on me. Or one of you two, more likely. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, great. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Look after yourselves. I drop you up. See you, Boomer. Thank you. For ten cents and sunshine, it was back to work as usual. But for Boomer, well... He'd found his ideal place in the world. <laughs> and he was very happy there, because the jinx had gone.